this part. I'm just gonna move this highlighter. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me know when I can start. You got it. Okay, good afternoon everyone. This is Matt Weissel of VPI Industries and uh, I'm here with my guy Jose and he's going to quickly do um, a quick, uh, well, just explanation of the difference between the two types of collars for our cleaning machines. Uh, this isn't a big thing, but just to help uh, clear up any confusion. So Jose, what do we have for us here today? All right, so we have the two tube supports for both of the machines um, and this is the easy clear distinction between the two. The one for the 16.5 has this uh, pin here on the bottom all the way at the end it goes like this putting it like this So you guys can understand the pin for the one for the 16.5 is all the way at the bottom The pin for the one for the cyclone is more of in the middle towards the top here um, So that's the main distinction between these two so you know which one you have and then for the tube holders So this one here with this notch here. Oh, I'll move your finger With this notch yeah. here. This is the one for the cyclone. You can tell because it has to notch. Lighting. Move it over a little bit. There. You see that? There we go. Perfect. That's that, that's, that's that. there. So this notch means here. That's the one for the cyclone, and the the reason why is because when you slide it onto this, it completely locks, meaning that you will be able to clean in both directions and suction in both directions. Here, the one for the. Let's just leave it together for now. The one for the. 16.5 does not have a notch here. It's there's no notch. It's just a clean cut You know and the reason why is because the 16.5 only rotates in one direction So when the whole thing swings it just kind of locks in there But when you swing it back obviously, you know, it goes back the other way The other thing we're going to mention is a lot of people seem to have the issue where their Let's do it on the 16.5 one. It's a little easier where their vacuum tube will snap or break or, you know, it breaks here. Now, the reason that happens is because obviously the vacuum tube should make... Now, you wouldn't do this, obviously, on, a, on an aluminum platter. <laughs> yeah. It was just easier this way. Uh, what happens is the vacuum tube suctions and it should make a perfect connection here with the whole platter. No, you know... Sorry. That's okay. You know... <laughs> Basically, completely uh, along the platter, not raised at all. Now, what does this is this collar here. This collar, when it vacuums down, is going to touch this here, even if you have the spring. I have a spring handy here. When it suctions down, it's going to, whoop, let's find that notch. There we go. When it suctions down, it's going to touch the top of this holder here, right? But if this collar has slid too far up, what's going to happen is this. And you won't have full yeah. contact. Then, then that's what is creating the stress and that, yeah. on the tube. And by the way, guys, for anyone who's wondering why we're not using an actual cleaning machine, because you can't see all of this parts when it's uh, fully in there. So yeah. I think this is like a blown up diagram of what yeah. it is you're looking at. So if you have this happening, it's really easy to fix. But this is what causes people's tubes to break. This just, you know, this collar over time will just slide upwards, meaning that it'll be lower on this end, causing it to have this gap here, causing stress right here, causing the tube to snap. In this case, what you do is this this set screw, you loosen it out. It's a 332. We have a really, really ridiculously long one here. You loosen the set screw and the whole collar will move up and down. And then you just got to set it back up so that the vacuum gives you a nice good contact on the platter and the record and then just tighten it back with your 332 and then you won't have that issue where it's at an angle anymore it's nice and pressed down it's something good to check just you know it should be very easy to tell if it's at an angle ever uh you know just throw on a record oh it's at an angle just move it down slightly and then just it, it's more of a trial and error thing to figure out how far down you got to put the the collar but that's pretty much it if you keep this maintenance you do it every uh let's say three months for example you should your tube should basically never break your your strips will go before that and if these go you can just always shoot us over an email with your address and we will send you over a replacement set of these they just go right on with contact cement you remove the other ones with uh goo gone any kind of adhesive remover 90, I mean, it's impossible to get right now, but isopropyl alcohol is a great adhesive remover. <laughs> um, but yeah, and that's that's basically it. Sometimes customers will get these um, these tube holders, and we leave it at a factory setting. I moved this one, so it's not there anymore. Um, but the customers one might have they might have slid it down, they might have slid it up. So sometimes a customer will get it and be like, "No, this is the wrong thing. It's not at the same location." 
this is adjustable like many other things on our tables. This collar is the key to making sure that your 16.5, your Cyclone, even on the 17, yeah, 17 we have these. Typhoon. Yeah, 17, all the, uh, all the record cleaners have, you know, all the vacuum tube holders have this collar on here. This is the main key to making sure that your uh, tubes don't break and that you're getting optimum suction when the tube is making contact with the platter or the, realistically the record. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's very easy to do. Again, the, the set screw, the key is a 330 seconds. You don't need to buy any specific brand. You could probably get these for pennies on the dollar at like, pennies on the dollar would not be the correct time. No. You, can get them, you can get them for really cheap at like your yeah. local Home Depot. Lowe's Home Depot. Lowe's whatever. Home Depot, Harbor Freight, if you got one of those around you. I don't know what other cheap places we have. We have them here in Jersey. I don't know what you guys have all around the world. So a 332. That's all you need for this. Um, again, yeah. you can get them real nice and cheap, and, and that'll do it. And that's uh, the two differences between the different type of tube holders for your cleaning machine. Again, dis just a full disclaimer, we would not use an aluminum platter just here for uh, demonstration purposes, and this is what we're looking at here. Uh, so again, this is Matt Weisfeld and Jose over at VPI. Uh, make sure to stay tuned uh, if you're watching this live. We are doing a live, um, a live stream at one o'clock at the VPI house. Uh, covering Pure Audio Project speakers and other stuff. But uh, again, this is uh, Matt and Jose of VPI. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you all next time.